a fun event with a serious message. Yes. yes. All right. Exactly. Talk to us about your viewpoint on this. Why is this so important? It's important because what we're doing is actually empowering women and uplifting men. There are several monologues and vignettes in, in the show, and we talk about different aspects of relationships, mm -hmm. lifestyles, uh, HIV and AIDS, people with AIDS, people who have suffered. It, it's really a, a wonderful piece. It's informative, and I'm sure that the people that come and see it are going to walk away with a lot more than they came with. It's not, I'm going to go to you now. Since we've got all y'all, I want to get everybody in. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Tell us, Anna. is it a show? Is it a play? Is it singing? Tell us about it. It is a bit of everything. Okay. We have dancing, we have music, and we have words. Um, I'm doing several monologues. Roz and I worked together many okay. years ago on Amen. So we're happy that we're down in Birmingham, Alabama to bring some Hollywood joy <laughs> here. <laughs> But I'm getting all the joy. <laughs> but um, it's it's just it's a nice celebration of women's voices because it's not just about HIV. It's about just how we live, how we get to talk and give a voice to that about depression, happiness, and most of all, romance and love. Wow! Because that's all yeah. we want is some of romance, romance that's right. with some love. There are some serious emotions in this tonight. <laughs> oh, I mean, there's a lot going on. There's and it's something for men too. Yes, yes. So for too. men too. It's yes. not. It's called sisterbration, but that doesn't mean. Anything. What's it's called the butterfly confession. Okay. Butterfly and confession. the butterfly, during the evening, the butterfly is several things. It, okay. it refers to several different things. So you get to use your imagination also. Okay. <laughs> and, I, and I know we've got all of us up here, but we've got someone Jacinta. over here Jacinta. as well. Yes. And what is she going to do for us? Tell us. She's going to do a monologue. A monologue. A monologue from, from the butterfly show. Just from the snippet. show. Just so yeah. this, is, this is a little snippet of what you might see tonight. Take it away. As I said in the back of the taxi, Tears flowed from my eyes. Pull it together, girly. Pull it together, girly. I kept telling myself. But no matter how hard I tried, I just couldn't. Here I go again. Here I go again. I mumbled through the tears. I had just left the hospital with pig lines placed in my arm. And no matter how often I had it, I never seemed to adjust. For me, it's the sign of grueling task ahead of me. Intravenous IV medication for however long it takes. The last time, just three months ago, was for 32 days. It's the world of AIDS, <laughs> hidden by my fancy clothes, my hard-hidden message, and my overachiever attitude. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. Woo-hoo. I'm impressed. All yeah. right, so get... Get, give us the details. It's tonight. It's tonight okay. at the Alice Stevens Center, okay. Alice Stevens um, Performing Arts Center. Yeah, on UAB's um, campus. Yes, okay. it starts at 7 p.m. Okay. Tickets mm. are $25, and they can actually contact the box office. And, and so yeah. do you think they could get them out the door? They yes, will walk yes. Up yes. And get we them have a few can, left yes. just yes. for the She's viewers so there. <laughs> just for the viewers. <laughs> You okay. are a mess. I can already tell that this is going to be good. So thank you, ladies, so much. Thank, thank you. For thank me. you. And we appreciate it. And everyone come out tonight and uh, attend the event. Thank you. All right. All right. We'll be thank right you. back after the break. It's the fastest growing disease in the African-American community. But what's so disturbing is it's 100 percent preventable. We're talking about HIV AIDS. And tonight was all about education and empowerment. CBS 42's Beverly Tanner checked out event tonight as women learned more about the spread of HIV and AIDS. It's better to practice abstinence to be on the safe side. Good advice in theory, but unfortunately that's not always the case. These women hope to change that. And what better night than a Saturday night to host a girls' night out? The event focuses on different issues in the black community, primarily HIV and AIDS. According to staff with AIDS Alabama, the black community has been impacted more than any other group in Alabama. That's why events like this are so important. It is a non-discriminatory disease. It can impact anyone. About two-thirds of all the new infections are among the black population. And that's despite the fact that we only have 26 percent African-American population in Alabama. She says events like this shows how far we've come with this disease, but says we still have a ways to go. We now have medications and a person can stay alive for a very long time. HIV positive women can have healthy children. Um, so, you know, when I think back to when the disease began 30 years ago and where we are today, it's no longer a death sentence. 
Kathy Hears with AIDS Alabama says about 30% of HIV cases in Alabama are right here in the Birmingham area, with 11,000 known cases in the state.